Kegel exercise or it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Washboard abs? No. Washboard match. <laughs> I can play the cello and do a washboard solo at the same time. <laughs> On a good, flexible day, I can clip my toenails. <laughs> Sometimes my boyfriend and I are having sex. I squeeze and he can't pull out. One of his friends has to help him. <laughs> Every time his friend pulls him out of me, he becomes the king of England. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking googly eyes on a vagina, who look like a drag queen with cuff palette. <laughs> and for the record, I would never say that my pussy or any Jew girl's pussy tastes bad. They don't taste bad, but you do have to have an appreciation for gefilte fish. <laughs> so when people are like, Deb, why do you date a middle aged Jew? I'm like, hey, the man appreciates me gefilte fish. <laughs> the horseradish burns them. <laughs> We're really immature as a couple, actually. Like, he can't wear a condom inside me without saying, not touching you, not touching you. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure if he's farting or the cat is hungry. Sometimes I'm not sure if he's farting or there's a baby squid walking across the tile floor. <laughs> and... I guess this is an okay audience to say this to. <laughs> I love roofies. <laughs> love them. I, if, if my boyfriend didn't have roofies, I would never get laid. And, you know, I buy them in bulk. You can get anything at Costco. <laughs> and maybe we go through them a bit too much. I slept in one last week to get seconds at dinner. But, you know, it's all fun and games until you wake up the next day. Handcuffed to the bed, covered in raspberry jam. We've all been there. Paula Dean on one side, Ted Nugent on the other. <laughs> and they're acting out scenes from Reservoir Dogs and Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> it happens, but I got him back because when he passed out, I tattooed a portrait of Hitler on his inner thigh and then an arm on his penis. <laughs> So every time he gets an erection, <laughs> a white supremacist gets its wings. <laughs> the kitchen staff at work is just always giving me a hard time. They're always like, hey, stop, you know, bringing out the wrong food, or stop lighting the customers on fire. But I stood up for myself today. Finally went up, I was like, hey, why are you talking to a white woman? <laughs> <laughs> that was an ironic racist joke. I'm not actually racist. In fact, my only best friend is black. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually not good at racism at all. I tried. A friend of mine was like, we need to send those people back to China where they came from. And I was like, yeah, goddamn Japs. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like it, though, when people hang way too many American flags outside their house because I get lost really easily. <laughs> Let me tell you why I think Beyonce is a rapist. <laughs> I went through a phase a little while ago listening to White Destiny's Child. And um, there's a song that I think I missed. Because it, it goes like this. Let's see if you re remember it. You be saying no, 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 no. When it's really yes, 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 yes. You be saying no, 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 when it's really yes, yes, No means no, Beyonce. <laughs> and I'm saying it right here. A year from now, I think Jay-Z's going to look like Rihanna. <laughs> but there are people in this world who just can't make fun of at all. They're too talented. Too amazing. 
one of my heroes is a man who is just so intelligent and talented and impressive, but people still come up to him every single day, and they're like, hey, yo mama. And he's like, hey, it's pronounced yo yo mama. <laughs> While I was in Italy, I went, uh, in Florence specifically, I went to the Uffizi, which is the big giant museum. It's like the loop, you know, it's all the famous artwork and stuff. And there's a lot of great things to see there. There's Botticelli's Birth of Venus and the Primavera. But as I was walking around room to room, I said to my dad, you know, dad, every time I see a Jew here, he's on a cross. <laughs> I don't think they want us. Because <laughs> Jesus was Jew. Um, I actually, you know, despite being Jew- Jewish, I think Jesus is probably an awesome guy. And I thoroughly believe in what he stood for. In fact, I just ordered his workout DVD, Jehovah's Fitness. <laughs> Wow, it was really intense, though, the workout. I feel like I just got crucified. (laughs) Actually, um, Ian and I, we went to uh, a sperm bank on Easter Sunday, but they were closed for an egg hunt. (laughs) I like push-up bras because we all have dreams. (laughs) My parents are actually really amazing people, and they're they're fucking intelligent. They're actually neuroscientists who study Huntington's disease. So it's no surprise that my parents, Huntington's disease researchers in Massachusetts, have a daughter who's a comedian in North Carolina. Because it's the same job. You tell a joke, and no one laughs. laughs. <laughs> exactly. Um, actually, my mom in particular, she's kind of famous in the Huntington's disease community. Um, she's a world renowned researcher and Harvard professor. And actually, that's what it says about her and her little thing on uh, Wikipedia. So I called her up as soon as I saw this, and I was like, Mom, this is what it says about you on Wikipedia. You're a Harvard professor and world-renowned Huntington's disease researcher. And she's like, that's awesome. What's Wikipedia? (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes, Ian, my lovely boyfriend here, actually not sometimes, every fucking night, (laughs) before we go to bed, he opens the door and calls the cat in. But he, he's trained the cat to respond to pussy. So he goes out and says, Pussy! Pussy! Except when the cat is acting like a cunt. <laughs> and then he doesn't say pussy. <laughs> So, I don't know if it's true that women do nothing but talk, 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 and just don't really pay attention to what anyone has to say, and just waiting for their turn to speak, and not really thinking about you or, or what they're saying, and just, I don't know if that's true, or sexist, or misogynistic, or stereotypical, or whatever. But I know it's fucking true with me. Because <laughs> when you have ADD, show me. <laughs> Didn't work the second time, okay. Um, when you have ADD, you forget things a lot. You repeat yourself. And I think I may have blacked out twice just being up here. And, um, you know, basically what happens is I just have verbal diarrhea, and I just talk and talk, and it all splatters and, like, farts out of my mouth, 
and just like piles into my hands, and then I just throw it at people, <laughs> and I see what sticks. <laughs> It seems I talked about my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>